Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'll be sharing with you how to stop being jealous and really understanding how to let go of it for good. Now, me, if you would have asked me maybe five to seven years ago, uh, I would have looked at my life and told you that I was more of somebody that would feel jealousy quite often. I was in relationships and if a girl that I was dating at the time was maybe talking to other people or maybe I felt threatened if she would go out to a club or something like that um, and for like girls night or whatever it was, I was someone that in the back of my mind I would worry what if this person, you know, what if she talks to somebody else. and. What I've really realized over the last like probably f it's probably been five to seven years now is I went through learning about a lot of the information that I share on this channel and I've really come to understand and have the worthiness, the self-worth and also to trust the course of the things that happen in my life to a point now where in a relationship I don't worry about those kind of things and I'm not saying that I don't ever feel those kind of emotions at all but I've learned how to not identify with those emotions and how to really observe them rather than identify with them. So realize it's normal to feel certain emotions but when we identify with those emotions and think that that is who we are and when we identify with our ego and think that that is only who we are that's when we feel the negative backlash of those emotions so I'd say whereas now I trust the course of my life and if I am in a relationship and the you know that girl talks to somebody else or whatever it is I so trust the course of my life that I know that at a certain level that is meant to be. Now the paradox of this is that because I'm not afraid of losing something or someone because I realize that I have enough trust in myself, first off that that wouldn't happen, but also just simply knowing that there are so many people out there so if one isn't meant to be, there's so many other people to connect to that there's that ability and abundance to where that doesn't even happen. So it's almost like a paradox because as I just simply trust the course of my life and I'm not worried about it, on the other side of it, it just simply doesn't happen because maybe I'm not focused on it or I'm not feeling that lack so it's like I don't open up the space for something that like that to happen. But realize that even if it's beyond relationships and it's jealousy, maybe somebody's killing it in life and you're observing how their life situation is and you feel jealous because you want that. It comes from an identity with some level of possessiveness, some level of control, or some level of comparing ourselves to other people and feeling like we are less than. Now, the simple way and the most powerful part of this video is learning how not to identify with the thoughts that we have. So those thoughts of jealousy, of the autopilot mind that kicks in, so say maybe your boyfriend or girlfriend is like, hey, I'm gonna go out for a guy's night or girl's night, and immediately you'll ha start to have some thoughts in the back of your mind. Instead of identifying with those, learn how to take a step back and how to observe them. Observe those thoughts, observe how you're feeling, but realize that in the observation of it, you will immediately start to feel less attached to it. Now, with repetition, and if you learn how to observe your thoughts, that's where the power is and eventually those identity with those thoughts will start to loosen its grip. Now you can apply this towards maybe like uh, I worked a sales commission job for the longest time and in that sales commission job uh, we only got paid based on commission so if I saw somebody else that was having a really good day or a really good sale sometimes I would feel that level of jealousy but I always realized that that came from a competitive mind and I realized that instead of that competitive mind, I could have a creative mind. Now, a creative mind is when you become aware that there is always enough to go around. When you become aware that if somebody creates it for themselves, you can also create it for yourself. So it came from reframing the identity I had to how I compared to that other person. So how 
can we apply this in our life and what does that look like? Well, when you see somebody else that's killing it, somebody else that's doing really well, know that if they can do it, so can you. And you can use it as motivation rather than something that inhibits you. And you can simply identify and observe the thoughts that you have rather than react to them. And the moment you observe those thoughts is the moment you take your power back and you'll realize that you then feel less like that has power over you. So the power of this whole video is knowing that you can give yourself the emotions that you feel rather than needing it from other people. So if you feel like maybe you're not enough, instead of being focused and identified with those thoughts, have the simple awareness that you can focus on the gratitude for who you are. You can focus on the characteristics that really make you special and unique. You can focus on those specific things, you'll begin to feel the emotions from within, and then it leads to you developing that new state of being to where jealousy isn't a part of it. Now, this could also be with the idea of trusting your life situations. I trust that I am somebody that has that level of self-worth and I trust the situations in my life. So if I'm with someone and they meet somebody else, it's almost like I don't fight that, I allow that to be because I have the trust that if that happened, there's somebody else out there that I'll resonate with more. And the paradox though is that because I have this perspective, it simply doesn't happen. And it's because I feel those emotions inside of myself of feeling 100% whole and complete. And that feeling comes from your awareness of who you are, not believing that we need somebody else to fulfill who we are, like the other half that makes us complete. No, you are already whole and complete. As you start to see yourself in this way, as you start to embody that perspective, you'll feel it more and more and then you'll get a reflection of that. So possessiveness always comes from the ego, jealousy always comes from the ego, and when we simply are aware of the ego, that's when we start to gain our power back, that's when we stop responding and reacting to that emotion, and that's when we can start being who we prefer to be and having the level of awareness that we are already whole and complete, that we can be in the creative mind, which means we are not competitive, we don't compare ourselves to other people, we compare ourselves only to ourself and how we choose to be in the present moment. So it's really that easy and it's that simple. Become aware of your thoughts, know that you are who you choose to be in the present moment and that as you take the attention away from these egoic autopilot thoughts, you can then be who you prefer to be. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys on the next vid. Peace, much love, namaste. All right, bye.